How do you feel like you guys managed this week, short week? Uh, you know, I think uh, as well as we could. You know, I think that uh, considering at one point in time we had 40, you know, able bodies during that game on Monday night, three of them were specialists, two of them were quarterbacks. That, that leaves you with um, not very many guys to go out and play football. So um, we, we, we try to get healthy and um, try to get some guys ready that, that are going to be replacing some of those guys. With getting the guys ready, specifically in, in the secondary at cornerback, what, what's your comfort level there? What's their comfort level heading into this weekend? Well, I mean, I think comfort level is always high. You know, I mean, the confidence is high. That's that's why everybody's here. I mean, certainly it's going to be a huge challenge, and um, you know, but you know, those guys will compete and they'll do their best to execute the game plan, and you know, hopefully we can you know get some help from you know from the guys up front. A guy like Kelsey is so hard to cover and so effective for for them. Well, he's athletic. He's long. He's got great catch radius. Um, he's sudden, you know, in and out of breaks. The way he sets things up, and you know, and he'll play. He'll play physical. You know, I mean, he'll. You know, if you get up and try to press him and push off, and you know, he probably I don't know what the stat is, but would have to be at the top of the list as far as calls penalties, you know, as far as holding calls are concerned. So. Um, I, mean, I think he's got a great understanding, uh, excellent skill set, you know, and then a quarterback that, you know, there's a relationship with the quarterback that, you know, when I go this way, I'm coming back and, you know, the ball is usually there. Who are your, who are your punt return candidates this week if Chester can't go? Um, you know, we're still working through some of that, so, you know, we've got some, got some time left before the game. Hart, uh, ready to go. Is he, he, he your third tackle? Uh, well, he's... Uh, on the active roster, and he would be, um, you know, available for the game. So, you know, as it stands today, with Taylor being out, you know, I would anticipate Bobby being up. As far as their return game goes, I mean, they stretch you as much as maybe anybody. Well, that's, that's a huge key for us on special teams. You know, with, with Pringle returning uh, kickoffs, and you know, obviously um, Hardman, you know, really got these guys going last week. Uh, had a big return. Um, you know, to kind of change momentum and field position and everything. Um, you know, and then of course, you know, I mean, Tyreek Hill's obviously always available. Um, never know when he would potentially show up. You can try to make it to Louisville tomorrow. I am. How much? Uh, I, I know you mentioned Boston the other what day. What do you got planned? I might just drop by there myself. Could do that. Uh, um, so, but, but stalker. How, how much do you? How much do you kind of? Cherish those, you know, opportunities to be able to, to see him in person. Um, you know, I don't see I don't see Tyler much. You know, um, it's what happens. You know, when kids go off to college. Um, you know, so I do. You know, obviously enjoy every chance that I get to to see him and to be able to just to you know give him a hug, check in on him. Um, you know, and I you know I think I'm always conscious of the toll that this this profession you know plays on your family. You know, when I was a, when you play this game, it's like you're home. I mean, I used to pick them up on Fridays at school. We'd go pick them up at St. Mary's, go get some Papa John's and go home and hang out. And, um, you know, you saw him every night. You, you were at stuff. Uh, and it's different. You know, when you coach, it's different. Uh, the hours are different. And we all know what we sign up for. Um, but there is certainly a toll. And uh, you know, I think we're we're conscious of that as a as a coaching staff to try to make as much time for family as we can. You said Luan's out. Anybody else? You know, John usually asks that, but it was uh, Chester Rogers um, and Monty Rice. I thought maybe you turned off by his. You, stock you already asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, anybody else? Hey, I Ben, Teron. Braves. I I was gonna. Um, I was going to say, I encourage you. I don't know if you've seen it, but um, the Chris Spielman. Have you seen the video? I have not. Yeah, I would, I would encourage you. I just, it's pretty, it's, cool. it's pretty incredible. Cool. So. Cool. Yeah. I mean, certainly, you know, I have a relationship with Chris. I remember uh, him and Stephanie when, when they were, you know, living near campus. And I was, you know, graduating. Uh, he was just finishing up his career. So um, I will certainly, I've stayed in contact with Chris, and I will, um, I'll watch it on your recommendation, Kayla.